Okay, good morning. 18 January, our, our assignment for today. Analyze this versus that. So what you will do is looking at the slides, you're going to look at two objects. You are going to look at two objects. You are going to compare and contrast. Remember when we compare and contrast, we are looking at similarities and differences between the two items. There's usually more than one thing that is similar and definitely more than one thing that is different. Keep that in mind as you complete the slides. So you're going to think about how the objects are used, how they may have been made, what materials they are made of, the size of them, how they might impact the environment, situations where one may be better than the other. So you're going to keep all of those things in mind as you do your compare and contrast, which is why I said there will definitely be more than one similarity and more than one difference. Okay, so your first object is a paper bag. Your second object, design B, is a plastic bag. So you are going to think about what problem can be solved by both designs. Elaborate on this answer. Don't just put one thing in there. Otherwise, it's just a waste of your time and mine. Then we're going to list the strengths. Notice that it's plural and weaknesses. Again, plural of design A. For number three, you're going to do the same thing for design B. And then for number four, you're going to list any questions that come to mind when you are analyzing both designs. Circle the one that you are most curious about. Let's say, for instance, as you're analyzing the design, you may ask which one came first or what, who invented or where did it come from? If you're still curious about that, circle that one. Okay, on the next slide, this is where you are designing a new hybrid design, something that combines both of the strengths from each of the items pictured. Don't go and pull a picture off the internet. You are redesigning this. This is an invention or technically an innovation because the primary idea already exists. So you are innovating this design. So there is no picture out there on the internet. So you are sketching this, you are coming up with this, and in your design, in your sketch, in your plan, you are telling what materials you were using, why you chose this over that, so on and so forth. Okay, so you're typing and you're sketching. It's not pulling a picture from the internet. Please don't do that. Okay, and on the next slide, you are going to determine the perfect customer or situation for your design. Um, and then you're going to plan an ad or a commercial or a social media post to promote your design. And you will include a link or an image here. Let's say if you decide to do a video, then you will put a link to that video here. If you decided to do a social media post, you'll put an image here. And that is it. Let me know what questions you have. You will turn this into Canvas.